What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already, people. If you haven't, it means the world to me. If you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell in the top right hand corner so you always get a notification every time your boy drops a video. How you been, people? It's Friday. What? It's Friday. Come on. What are your plans for the weekend? Anything good? Not much to do. Fuck it, you know. Hope you enjoyed my last video. It was a bit rushed yesterday. Sorry about that. I'm taking my time with this one. You know, anyone's there. I don't know if you had noticed, but a lot of my stories have dried up. What's going on, people? Why the fuck are you not telling the stories anymore? Living in London. All right, cool. I'm going on a few podcasts soon to tell my whole life story. You know, so I don't want to give you guys everything before I go on the show, or the Sean Atwood show, the Marvin uh, Herbert show. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to uh, give you everything. I want to inspire you with some bitch. You know what I'm saying? Keep it fresh, people. So, you ain't getting everything. I stayed away from the stories. But, it's a slow news week. Darren G's not beefing no one. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's a slow news week. Nothing's really going on. So, I'm going to give you a prison story, people. You know them way there. Yeah, so, this prison story, shit. Happens in 2006. So, I've been nicked for armed robbery. I get sentenced to four years, me and my Cody. And um, and then what happens? We're in Wormwood Scrubs. We're in there, we're living it up. We've taken over the prison. Me and a few of the boys, we just lived it up there. But slowly but surely, they kicked us all out. I got a letter from the prison on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I was gassed when I got this letter. It had HM Prison Services on it. And it said, Mr. Lazar, if you continue selling drugs into our HM Prison Services, we will put you in a block, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Stay out of drug culture and gang culture. But I was in the gym, sharing everyone. Like, look, 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 they sent me, look, they sent me, look, 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 that's me, that's me, that's me. But I was gas, bro. <laughs> Fucking mad how your priorities are mad when you're young, innit? Still, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> so, we're in the jail, we're terrorising scrubs, yeah? When I say terrorising it, we're selling drugs, we got the screws bringing us in bits, we had part fucking canteen bringing us in, but we had it on lock, the whole jail was on lock, locked anyway. So we're there for like nine months, yeah? <clears throat> One of my Cody's got a not guilty because he really didn't do nothing. And then me and my other Cody, uh, we're waiting to go to our other jails. As soon as I got sentenced, the next day, there's like, right, Lazar, we've got a um, place for you, high point. I'm like, cool, fuck it, I'm gonna get out of this shit anyway. Yeah, I'm like, what, my Cody as well? They're like, nah. Because my Cody was like a bit more like reserved than that. I was just hype. Back then, if you knew me, I was fucking hype. Yeah? So, uh, I go to a high point that, remember, I know people in jail, I know loads of people, especially back then, because I was such in and out, always in and out, always in and out, always in the mix and shit. You know what I'm saying? And people get shipped around. So I just knew, and all my mates had gone in and out of jail. So I just knew bare people. I just found, met people quick. You know what I'm saying? And um, so we've all got phones. I've got a phone, my Cody's got a phone. We've all got mobile phones. So we're just chatting to each other and <coughs> my Cody's like, yeah, I'm, I've got beef. I'm like, shut up, with who? As soon as I leave, it goes off. Cause we never really had no much dramas when I was there, you know? And if we did, we are just fucking niggas up. I'm just fucking everyone up, really. That we was having beef with. Anyway, so um, my Cody's explained the situation. I'm like, yeah, handle that. He's with a few of the acting boys. <coughs> And uh, so he's there, a few of the acting boys are there, they got beef. But my Cody uh, only knows these guys from jail, you know what I'm saying? But he's got involved in their road beef, yeah? And road beef's always a lot more serious than jail beef, even though it can spill onto the road sometimes, jail beef. But more or less, road beef is always a lot serious. A lot more bloodshed's happened. So my Cody's got involved now, yeah? And he's fucking these other guys up and then it's going back and forth. A couple of people got stabbed up in there. I'm just hearing the stories. I'm like, fuck, you know, man, it's going off. And I was cool, I just had my little group of people who I was with. Anyway, so slowly but surely, the acting boys that are in, on the wing with my boy, Mark Cody, are getting shipped out. They're getting shipped out here and there and uh, sent to other prisons. That's what shipped out means. And so uh, basically, long story short, Mark Cody's left on his own now. But all the boys that they're beefing with, they're still there on the wing. It's peak. Anyway, long story short, I don't hear from Mark Cody for a couple of days. I get a phone call, G. It just sounds a bit different. I'm like, what's going on, cuz? He's like, I got stabbed, blah, blah, blah. They got me, they rushed me, they fucked me up. I'm like, no way, I'm pissed. I can't believe it, yeah? 
So fucking, he explained the whole situation. He's like, don't worry, we're getting back this or the other. I'm like, yeah, say nothing, of course. I'm just finding out who they are, what the situation is. I won't mention their names just because it's pointless, isn't it? And, um, but the people know who, who they are on the roads, so shout out to you guys. Anyway, now, yeah. So, just so happens, one of the people that fucked up my code D was getting sent to um, High Point. Guess who's at High Point? Your boy, Anna. And I got all my little group of mates with me as well, do you know what I'm saying? So there's a, there's a few of us, and I'm on a gym course at the time. <clears throat> I think I'm on like South 5 as well. South 4 or South 5. Anyway, I was cool there, you know, getting weed in and stuff. It was just, it was cool. So, uh, he's telling me, yeah, this is the guy's name, blah, blah, blah. This is what it looks like. Now I've got people that makes me work on induction wing, like cleaners and that. So I'm like, cool. So this guy don't know what's about to happen, but he's coming to this jail and he's about to get a welcome party. Me and my boys are about to put in that woke. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let me not spoil it. So fucking... We're waiting now, yeah, waiting every day. What I'm asking the guy, is, is anyone by this name, this description on the wing? And no, 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 no. Then one day, he <coughs> comes back, yo, my man's here. I'm like, cool. I tell the boys, I'm like, next time he goes to the gym on the induction, and my mate told me when they go, I was like, um, make sure you put my man's name down, yeah? So anyway, they put his name down for the gym. He's come to the gym. <coughs> I'm looking, looking, looking. My guy puts him out to me. So I'm waiting there to the end of the gym session, going to the showers. My man goes in the showers, yeah, he don't even know. There's about five of us, yeah. And so he's going, he's doing his hair and now all of a sudden just bang, bang, bang. He got chinged in his ass, chinged in his leg. Like he got fucked up. Like it wasn't me, I didn't do none of that shit, but yeah, he got fucked up. That guy was fucked, you know, like really, really fucked up. Like he got work put in on him and uh, he didn't mostly know why. If you ever watch this, now you do, bro, peak. But um, yeah, so... Uh, he was just fucked up. And then obviously, um, we just quickly just done our thing. And then um, the screws come, see it, press the bell. He gets fucking taken away, goes to healthcare and that. And then uh, the guy wanted to get shipped out. Our mate who was uh, working on the wing was telling us, yeah, this guy's trying to get shipped out, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, ah, oh, cool. So anyway, the guy got shipped out, didn't even want to come to the jail. Didn't even know what beef he had, but it just went off. His first time in the jail, most probably. And fucking within a week of him coming to the jail, getting in the gym, Niggas was on him, bruv. We was just on him. On him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bruv. And, 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 and that all stems from my Cody getting in some bullshit he had no business getting involved with. All of a sudden, he's on his own. He gets fucked up. He tells me, because I've got a phone, the guy who's coming there, he gets fucked up. You know, like, it's just a whole load of dumb shit that goes on in jail when you're caught up in the mix, people. So the point and the advice is, if you ever go to jail, stay away from anyone's road beef. Don't get in the mix up because it can just end up to bear other shit. And if you are having beef, people, keep this in mind. Everyone's got phones. So, you, like, if you're getting shipped to another jail, even if you've got beef in that jail, people can just make phone calls and you don't even know what's coming. You don't even know what's waiting in that other jail. So just remember, when you're dealing with beef, bruv, it's fucking... It's all the time you've got to be on point in jail. It's peak. There's no rest time. There's no none of this, none of that. You know what I'm saying? And... That time in High Point, 2006 to 2007, was mental. Obviously, I got kicked out of there in the end for drug culture and violence and fucking gang culture and shit. And then I went to another jail, got my teeth smashed out. But look, you can fucking watch that story and find that out. Watch out, Dolly Wally. And uh, yeah, bruv, so jail is just mental. It, it goes off in jail. If you want to be caught up in the life and fighting and all that other stuff, it's there for you. It's there in abundance. People are on it. People are bored. People got big birds in there. You know what I'm saying? People want to take out their aggression. Their missus is fucking getting piped out by the local fucking shot and that. They know what's going on. They're pissed. So just remember, when you're in jail, the best thing to do, people, is just chill the fuck out. Stay away from any drama. Do your sentence. And, oh, okay, yo, yo, yo. So I was chatting to one of my boys in jail, yeah? So I've got a few people, like, you know, I've got a few stories as well, but, like, I've got a couple guys in uh, prison in Spain, a couple guys in prison in fucking France, and Ben, obviously, in England. But um, anyone who's in jail and you've got a mobile phone, yeah? Remember this, yeah? You can actually make money. You can actually get some money while you're in jail, legitly. Open up a Uniswap account. You don't need no ID verification. And you can buy them shit coins. They're blowing right now. So if you're in jail and you're just thinking of something to do, Uniswap. You know what I'm saying? And anyone who's got people in jail, 
send them this video or tell them about Uniswap and tell them to start hustling on these crypto. But anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed this video. And the reason why I'm not giving you loads more stories because I'm going on the Sean Atwood show in a couple of weeks. I'm going on the Marv show in about a month or so. And, and yeah, so I'm doing bits and I want to give, I want to give you lot, you know, a good story when I'm on there. So, so, so allow me that I'm not giving you fucking all the stories all the time. But once I've done them shows and that, I'll give you other stories. You know what I'm saying? That I, that I didn't even give them lot. So, so, so just know people, I've got content, but I'm trying to hold it back and not give you everything. You know what I mean? Too quick before I can transition into something else, get some guests on and pattern some other bits and pieces, you know? But listen, I love you, Dolly loves you. It's your boy living in London. I've got big things planned, big things coming. Stay tuned, stay focused and subscribe, like, comment and share if you haven't. It's your boy back and I'll see you tomorrow. Live stream people, live stream. Peace.